Good morning. This is Nicole Renee from Enlightened Energy. Oh, I just got my light code activations for the morning. It was so nice. But I had to look at it through the darn chemtrails. I'm like, really? This is kind of like my video diary. <laughs> So nice outside. Oh my gosh. I opened up the doors and to, I, I sage every morning because I do so much energetic work every day. So I opened up the doors to let all the smoke out and oh my gosh, I was like, ooh, fall is coming. I wanted to talk about what happened last night. I was like, I, I figure I should just go ahead and just. fully come out of the closet. I mean, why hold anything back, right? <laughs> you might as well just see who I am, right? <laughs> I have mystical experiences like all the time. It's amazing. And the only reason I have mystical experiences is because As I'm healing my body, because I work on my body every day because I'm healing from breast cancer, and I'm also healing from spinal fusions and bone lesions and tumors and everything else you can think of. I was not very nice to my body when I was younger. I just, I was an ex-horse trainer and I mean, I, horses were like almost the death of me. That and everybody else around me. <laughs> Between the the energy that I was getting attacked psychically with every day and the job that I had breaking colts and getting bucked off and drugged and kicked and stomped on and everything daily. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm still here. Oh. But every scar tissue is a karmic debt from this lifetime that is brought in from a previous lifetime because you didn't heal it. Every time you don't heal yourself, it's a little bit, it's, it, it's a suit that you have to come back into in your next life and you got to heal yourself. And if you don't heal yourself, then you got to do it the next life. Every time you incarnate, you slip into this little suit called karma. <laughs> karma is a, karma is a suit. You're going to call it the pain body because that's what is easier for me to understand because pain takes you on the wrong road because pain is a low vibration and no pain is a high vibration, right? A sick deteriorating body goes down towards the, the wrong road towards death because it wants to just die. But a, a body and mind and energy of health goes towards things that are going to bring health. So every day I work on myself by breaking trauma and every scar tissue has emotional trauma to it this is something that you can research this is true you can ask any reiki master or any energy healer a lot of times when they release energy the person will cry because that's emotional energy that's pent up inside the scar tissue Now me, because I'm an energetic stigmatic, when I break a scar tissue, I have the ability to be able to psychically have a vision of that karmic debt that I had to pay from previous lifetimes. So I, I know where it came from. So that's why I know who I was in my past lives because I seen myself killed. Nobody else can and I know intimate deal t details about my life that nobody else does. It's, it's just a gift that I have that I've been able to hone. And the thing is, is the more karmic debts that you release, more of your pain body that you release, it's like this little onion suit that you zip out of every time you break a scar tissue, you like get out and out, and then you just get higher and higher and higher in your elevation. And if you don't, 
how do I explain this? What I'm talking about is tantric energy. And when people think of Tantra, they think of sex. And sex is the one thing that, that the Illuminati have tried to exploit. Because if they exploit sex, they take away your power. And how can that be? Because when you're, when you're having sex, you feel powerful, right? No, because you're getting ready to lose your power. Your power is stored in your tantric energy, which is the energy that you create before you actually orgasm. And if you can bring yourself up to that point and then shut yourself down, it's almost like taking a hundred dollar bill and putting it in your piggy bank. It's, it's like storing tantric energy, storing tantric energy. So what the Illuminati wants you to do is want you, want you to watch pornographic videos and have sex clubs on every everything and, and dirty magazines on every corner so that way you're constantly wanting to play with yourself. I'm just gonna just throw it out there. It's probably hard for me to talk about sex because I was molested as a child. But I'm I'm learning that the subconscious energies that we're having to deal with are beyond what you can even imagine. And I know this because of my energetic stigmata. I can I just know I have higher, cleaner communication than anybody else does. So they want you to constantly be thinking about sex and wanting to get off. Because if you get off, you waste your, 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 your emptying your piggy bank all the time. You're not saving any of your money. You're constantly giving out your money. Just think of every time you have an orgasm, you're giving away your money, giving away your money, giving away your money to the government. The, well, not the government, the Illuminati, which own the chemtrails, the pharmaceutical companies, the media, the government, <laughs> the, everything. They're the, one, they're the most powerful people in the world. And the only way that you can take them down is by healing yourself. Because once you heal yourself, you don't need their bad food, their, their sex toys, their... Because <laughs> when you go tantric... There ain't a sex toy out there they can even like touch Tantra. They want to, du to dull you down and take away your power through that because if they do, then it keeps an addictive, uh, 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 addictive because what it does is it throws your, your sacral chakra, your second chakra out of balance. And when your sacral chakra is out of balance, you become a pedophi uh, pedophile. Uh, you have issues with your sexuality, either more aggressive or let you know issues with being more expressive, that kind of stuff. When your when your sacral chakra is out of balance, that's your sexuality. So it's really important to balance your chakras. So if you can store your tantric energy into what I call an etherical energetic piggy bank, I like to I like to say I like to store money in an energetic piggy bank by storing tantric energy. What that means is to go celibate and build up. You can't just walk around and be celibate. I mean, you, it, it'll build up because you always have thoughts and you're constantly your root chakra is always pulsating. It's down there by your genitals. Your root chakra is right where your pineal, pin, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, anyway. I guess we're a guy would call it taint. <laughs> it's just right there at the bottom. <laughs> I, don't know that, I don't read much books. I mean, I could read, I just don't read much books. I get my information from there. <clears throat> so my vocabulary is a little, um, I got the word, I just can't, I just can't spit it out my mouth. Anyway, back to my story on my mystical experience. You have to understand tantric energy and what tantric energy is because I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know. I've, I've heard about it and I've heard tantric sex and all that kind of stuff, but I thought it was just a sex act and you just do all these, you know, whatever, but it's not at all. The ancient Egyptians knew 
about tantric energy and how to <laughs> I'll tell you this is and of course back then it was just a body it's just a vessel and when you understand your body is just a vessel you can play it like a violin and get what you want why wouldn't you everybody did everybody understood tantric energy and the ones that didn't we always tried to teach but we understood that the better the, the more sensual and better we felt the more our abundance was just pouring into us it was just that's why uh, we were depicted as the bigger bellies and sometimes the elongated skulls because if you had an elongated skull it meant that you were really enlightened and then if you had the bigger bellies it meant you were very um, wealthy you understood that the first three chakras one two and three your root your sacral and your um, solar plexus were your ones that you had to combine and clean and and keep it, it was kind of like if you were pregnant Okay, I just got that download. <laughs> All right, that's where this comes into play. Why the bigger bellies? Because they were pregnant with abundance. Because they knew the secrets. What we used to do, what I, me and, and the others, me especially, is we would have this um, bathtub full of uh, liquid gold and we would um, dunk ourselves in it, me and the girls mainly, the guys too. They would. Ha <laughs> oh, I'm just getting a visual. <laughs> we call it our sunbathing room. <clears throat> we would go out and face the sun in the morning sun and give our morning worship bathed in this liquid gold. Now, a woman's clitoris is her manifesting, well, I'll just call it a manifesting button. <laughs> and if you were storing enough tantric energy, you felt so sensual and so, mm, mm, you know what I mean? Just bathed in gold and the sun is just glistening off your body and you're just laying out there, legs open because what you wanted to do is expose your lotus flower to the sun. And what that did is it built up tantric energy in that too. And that was another secret that, that the ancients didn't want you to realize because once you realize that the sun and everything, it all works together in one, is one big package. Once you understand it, you can package it and then you can have whatever you want. You can literally